Hello beautiful ones, Joseph here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this, which is a chamomile decoction. It's a water and alcoholic decoction of chamomile flowers using chamomile tea bags. So I got these from Sainsbury's. They were, I think, £2.50 for 80. First of all, I thought they were 80 pence, which I thought was a bloody bargain. But then I got them to the till and found out that they were nearly three times the price. But hey, this is part of the Estee Lauder ANR project or Project ANR. And you will need these. You'll also need a bottle of, excuse me, <laughs> alcoholic hand gel. That's about 70% alcohol in there. This is an excellent source of alcohol, guys. So without any further ado, I'll dive into the tutorial and we'll talk about chamomile. So guys, um, this method of how to create a decoction, which basically means a water or alcoholic extract of, you can use it with any herbs, guys, any plants which you, you, know, you need to get an extract of. Follow my method, which will be in the tutorial part of this uh, video, and you'll have a decoction. So the method works with anything, guys, uh, white tea, green tea, herbal extracts like rosemary, flower extracts, so on and so forth. And it makes a really, really cheap and effective alternative to going out there buying those little bottles of herb extracts that they sell on eBay, health food shops, so on. Um, and it, it just really, really works, guys. And because we've got the alcohol and the water in the um, in the solution, we're getting a double whammy of benefits because alcohol leaches out certain phytochemicals or plant chemical extracts, whereas the water leaches out a different set of compounds, thereby we're getting a full spectrum of compounds by using a water alcoholic solution. The chamomile extract which we use, which I'm going to show you how to make today, is featured in Estee Lauder's Advanced Night Repair. It is one of three uh, plant extracts in the formula. The other one is baobab, 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 <laughs> I'll put it down here. And the other one is cola nut extract. Um, and I've got chamomile and I've also got cola nut extract, but I thought I'd leave out baobab. So um, I, don't ask me why, guys. I guess the reason I left it out was because for two reasons, really. Firstly, I'm not a big fan of herb extracts, although they do have their place in skincare and we get some wonderful compounds from plants. And B, price. I've already spent quite a lot of money on this advanced night repair project and to go buying even more tablets or extracts or herbs just seems pointless to me, guys. So if you want to be truly accurate to the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair original formula or the 2023 formulation, it does have baobab in it. I'll write the Latin name down here. You can always just do a decoction of that and add in the same amount as, of that as we're doing chamomile and cola nut, but it's up to you. And in the same vein as us using yeast extract in the ANR formula, because yeast extract gives us yeast and it also gives us sodium, RNA, ribooxynucleic ribo acid, ribonucleic, something. And I'll write it down here. Um, yeah, so we're getting two things out of one there. And also the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair has chamomile extract and basobolol in it. And chamomile provides us basobolol. So... I'm just going to be using the chamomile extract for two there. So I'll get the basobolol and the chamomile extract just by using this little baby. And I'll show you how to make this one in a minute. And also, of course, the amount that Estee Lauder use of each ingredient will be mi microscopic, guys, possibly 0.1% to 0.5%, even less, because they don't use much of any ingredients in there. Uh, chamomile extract is about halfway down the ingredients list. I'll put that here just for you guys to see at home. Um, and basobolol is even lower down and we are talking fractions of percents here, guys. So something like the, the chamomile extract, this, will cover both of those adequately and then some. So using plant extracts in a skincare formulation does make sense, guys. So using something like chamomile, chamomile has been used for centuries, possibly even thousands of years, um, because in the olden days, people recognized its, its, uh, its healing properties and its magical powers to heal skin to give skin youthful looking a youthful appearance it also lightens dark dark spots you know freckles so on it's also been indicated to hasten healing so it's a good addition to our formulation anyway but it is also in ANR or advanced night repair so that's why we're using it all right guys without me waffling on I will show you how to make this hydroalcoholic extract or decoction of chamomile and then we'll wrap up for the day. Right, beautiful ones, here's how we make a hydroalcoholic extract of chamomile tea. So you'll need chamomile tea bags, 
a jug with around 250 to 300 mils of cold tap water. You can use any water you want, guys. So into the water, I'm going to add 10 chamomile tea bags. That's four, that's six, that's eight. And there's 10 in there now. So just cover them in the water, guys. Press them down. This will save you loads of money. So you're not actually buying separate herbal extracts by making your own. We're saving money. Right, here's the preservative. Here I'm using potassium sorbate. This can be quite skin sensitizing or irritating, so I'm only using a fraction in the um, in the extract. I'm going to use about a tenth of a teaspoon here. You can use phenoxyethanol, but I prefer potassium sorbate because it's a wine preserving agent. This goes in the microwave for around three to five minutes until you get this basically. And so that's the water and chamomile tea infusion. We now, now need to add alcohol to the water because the alcohol helps to leach out the extract. It also helps to preserve the entire composition too. So a good form of alcohol is hand gel. It's about 70% hand gel there. I'm going to add two tablespoonfuls of alcoholic hand gel. That's one. Just give it a quick stir in there, guys, and we need to add another one. And this, once you know how to do this decoction, what's known as a, de a decoction, you'll be able to do this with any herbal extract, guys. Rosemary, white tea, green tea, you know, anything which is water soluble or we can soak in water and heat it up and out alcohol so we can get an extract from. Right. Allow 24 hours to cool and steep. <clears throat> So I left this overnight, guys. And here's my jug. And I, all I've done is I've put a J cloth over the top and I've secured it with a, a rubber band. Now make sure you have a bit of a dip in the center so the tea bags can sit without flowing over the edge. And by creating a dip, we just ensure that all of the liquid goes into the jug and nowhere else. There's the cool chamomile flower and alcohol and water infusion. And all I'm going to do is decant the hydroalcoholic extract into the jug with a J cloth. And the J cloth basically acting as a, a sieve, removing all of those little bits and bobs we tend to get with using plant extracts. You can do this a couple of times if you want an ultra pure formula or extract. Add alcohol, more alcohol here if required. Off screen, off camera, I added another one and a half tablespoonfuls of alcohol. And your decoction is ready. This is a really simple, cheap and effective alternative to buying ready-made herbal extracts, guys. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Right, beautiful ones, that's how we made this, our decoction of chamomile flowers. As they say, you can use anything, any herbal extracts you want. It saves you loads of money. You're not spending money on bottles. You're not paying for names. All that is is pure chamom chamomile extract in there, alcohol and water. If you don't really want to use alcohol, you can omit that phase and just use a make a water decoction. You won't have the full spectrum of goodness from the flowers, but that's entirely up to you. And because we have the potassium sorbet in there, the wine grade um, preservative or the preservatives used in wine making, which I think is fine for using on our skin. It can be a little bit sensitizing, so only as a fraction, but this would make an ideal toner. I mean, we're going to use this for loads of stuff. We're not just going to use this in advanced night repair or our version of. Um, so stick it in a bottle, apply to a cotton pad and apply to your face. As I say, if you want to just make an alcohol free version, that's absolutely fine too. Right, beautiful ones, that's it for today. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please do give it a thumbs up. Similarly, please do consider subscribing to stay abreast of when I'm releasing new videos. And all it remains for me to say is have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you all soon. Lots of love. Take care. Bye. See ya.